Welcome to part two of my Rome to Barcelona by train vlog series, where in this video, we make our way through France. We're on our last train to head to Nice and have the coach to ourselves. Made it to Nice. We are all checking it way, trekking it <laughs> to the hotel, and then we are gonna go do a bike tour. I've not ridden a bike in a hot second, so this could be very entertaining to say the least. <laughs> Here is our tiny, tiny bedroom in the hotel. Little space there. Our twin beds. Window with no view. Little desk. Little bathroom. Here is our tiny bathroom. The edge of the floor. <laughs> but it's really nice. Now, I'm not saying that any pedestrians were hit at the beginning of this bike tour, but let's just say the crowded city center and alleyways of Nice was very stressful navigating a bike. Once we were able to get on the bike lane and get our groove, the tour was so much more enjoyable and we were able to go out to the sea and visit the lighthouse. Bonjour, we just got ready, had some breakfast at the hotel. We are in Nice. We had a little fun time with the fire alarms in our hotel going off. We all went out into the hallway and the cleaning ladies were just looking at us and shrugging. So I think someone called the front desk and they said it was nothing, but it was still one of those weird, do you leave, do you stay, it's a fire alarm, but it wasn't that loud. It was very subtle, I would almost say. I mean, it was loud, but not like in America loud where it's ear piercing. So I wonder if there were people who are sleeping that may not even woke up to it. I don't know, totally weird. So we're gonna explore Nice a bit. Our group travel company has booked us some lounge chairs at the beach. So we will probably go to the beach here soon, but just explore, probably go up a hill, see some views, and really take in all the beauty that is Nice. It is just 11 a.m. and we're in pretty much the city center of Nice. There's a few people around, but not many, so we we're able to get our pictures in front of the fountain and all of that with no one else in the picture. So coming early, what is today? Wednesday. So Wednesday is always in the middle of the week when there's not as many people. Earlier in the morning is a good time to visit especially now that the sun's beating down, it's getting hotter, so get your photos and videos early in the morning when it's cooler and less crowded. So we made it to the top of Castle Hill, which from this viewpoint you can see the sea, the city, hills and mountains. It's such a beautiful viewpoint. So just next to the I Love Nice sign on the boulevard, kind of around the corner is a tunnel and then a free elevator that you can 
go up to the Castle Hill vantage point and get these incredible views. Reserved beach access. Back here are our loungers and our view of the sea. Just hanging out at the beach, enjoying the sun. The water is so refreshing. It's really cool in the sea. It is a pebble beach, so that is something to kind of be aware of. They do have rugs, rug pathways. It's like a jute rug that you can walk down through the to the water. However, it's kind of a oh look, you can see Morgan and Giselle. Um, they it is kind of a drop off to get into the water, kind of a cliff. So some entrances, it's there's no graceful way of getting into the water. There is an entrance to the beach or to the sea. I'm trying not to get anyone. There's some people that are topless on the be this beach, so I'm trying not to expose anyone. But there is an entrance, entrance down. Hi. <laughs> There is an entrance down a little ways that has a rope that you can hold on to to guide yourself into the water so you don't just plop in. So very refreshing, lots of fun, enjoying our little sun loungers, getting ready to head back to the hotel to get dressed up, showered, and then we are going to Monaco for the evening. So need to get ready and dress up for that but really have enjoyed the time at the beach, really relaxing, so much fun. Back at the train station, going to Monaco for the evening for dinner and possibly some gambling at the casino. Dressed up a little, so let's go enjoy Monaco. Made it up to the Prince's Palace in Monaco, getting ready to have dinner, but just enjoying these beautiful views. The sun kind of going down behind me. Oh, the sun. So, about to have a really nice dinner that I'm super excited about. Dress this line up. <laughs> Of dinner heading to the casino now. Woo. Some people are following, some are gonna be left behind. So it's 17 euro to get into the Monte Carlo Casino, and then they give you 10 euro of free play. I played it on the slot machine, had a lot of fun, lost it all, didn't win anything, but still so much fun. It's like a casino inside like a royal palace is like the vibe you get. It's, it's so bougie, but definitely a fantastic experience nonetheless. So now we're headed back to the train station to go back to Nice for the night and then Marseille tomorrow. Made it to the train station. So after a long night of gambling in Monaco and just staying out late, getting a little bit of sleep, we are up bright and early this morning, Thursday morning, at the train station ready to head from Nice to Marseille to spend one night in Marseille. Hopefully that'll be a fun time. The group is quite tired, quite exhausted. Oh, my eyes are so puffy, so tired. But it's worth it, it's a lot of fun. I think we have two, two and a half hour train ride to Marseille, so hopefully we can take a nap. It's not too hot or too cold. There's just never, never happy medium. Just being Goldilocks over here. So, just gonna wait and then hop on the train to Marseille.
made it to Marseille, heading to our hotel now. Okay, here's our hotel in Marseille. We have, again, our twin beds, but we have a lot more space. Our desk, window, the TV. I believe we have an accessible room, even though we're on the third floor, because here's our shower with a seat, sink, well, a cart, and the toilet. So a lot more spacious than in Nice. But there you go. Remember how I said we were all exhausted this morning heading to Marseille? Well, eight of us had planned to go visit the Chateau d'If, but when I got to the ticket counter, it was just me buying tickets. It was the one thing that I wanted to do in Marseille, so I didn't mind going solo. On the boat, ready to head to the Chateau d'If and explore that fortress slash prison. Uh, have a beautiful view currently while we're waiting for everyone to board. View of the port in Marseille. So excited. The Count of Monte Cristo is my favorite story. The 2002 uh, movie with Jim Caviezel and Guy Pearce is my favorite version of the movie. Love it. I'm fangirling right now at the Shadow Deeds. So the Chateau d'If was originally built in 1524, I believe, to serve as a maritime fortress to prevent people from coming into Marseille via the water. Then it later became a prison where those who were imprisoned here would just suffer through the hot summers or the cold winters. But those prisoners who were wealthy would get a fireplace seen behind me in their cell. So I guess one luxury of being in captivity is if you have some money, you could get a little warmth, not much. But those who were poor did not get a fireplace, oftentimes wouldn't get a window, just a little peephole for fresh air. They wouldn't even get a toilet. So really, really harsh conditions during the time of this, when this was a prison. It's just wild, just wild to explore. Okay, I'm standing at the tallest point of the fortress. And you have 360 views of the ocean, different islands, as well as Marseille. Quite a little step up, a couple different staircases, but definitely the views are worth it. Look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings down. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay because you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, 